Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my Austrian Bundesliga jersey review. Uh, again, this is the first time I'm doing this this time around. Again, you get three teams. This time we go with two really, really small teams and one giant in the Austrian game, the giant in the Aust Austrian game, uh, Austria's most supported team. So uh, how do they choose to get these um, teams in part two of this video? I explained it already in part one. I took last season standing, went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on. And everyone's in number two next to it is getting uh, into this video. And then I sort them sort of alphabetically in the way that I call this team. And this means we'll start with SC Rheindorf Altach or SCR Altach, which is in Vorarlberg in the westernmost province, very close to Switzerland, very close to Liechtenstein. Um, it is a region that at this uh, point is actually heavily urbanized, but it's all little villages kind of growing together. And there were multiple teams over the past 20, 25 years, even more, that made their mark that came up into the first league. I can remember at least three, including Altach. But Altach is the one who made, that made it and seems to be now the staying power and the team of that region. Now, Altach is playing in uh, white with usually black um, uh, chest band. This has been their look for now quite a while. And I have to say at least this is coming. I mean, I think the fans are kind of wanting that there will be a little bit more uh, black and white. It's becoming a little bit more prom prom -y. I mean, Alltag is one of those teams that sold their club name to the sponsor, Cashpoint. So it is uh, SCR Cashpoint. Alltag is the official name, which is a little bit of a, a mouthful and I typically ignore it. We have a Yako shirt and you can go on the website and you can buy this one. Actually, you can buy last season shirts, which I find a little bit more interesting. They're quite cheaper. Uh, really nice. They have like a diagonal pattern under the chest band as well. I actually like them a little bit better. Um, of course, sponsors. But uh, here it's nicely done. The Yako logo is in the center. So you have a league logo. You have the Altach logo. You have another sponsor uh, just below there to kind of fill it up. And then you have the two sleeve sponsors, which is again a fruit joy. Choose Con Con Company. I think it's overall a decent shirt. Uh, but it's also not too exciting. But I think for the Austrian League, this fully deserves a seven star. Now, the away jersey that outraged, I think, quite a few fans because uh, it is yellow and black. And not that it's yellow and black, which kind of is in the crest, but this also comes from the sponsor, it seems. And so many people are already a little bit outraged. There is, ever since Red Bull took over a sponsor, Painting the home jersey in their color happened also with Lusk is something that causes a low loads of outrage. Last season it was in dark red and that didn't cause any uproar. This reminds me a lot of the Dortmund away jersey from last season but with colors inverted and I think that overall the design is quite interesting. You have the same amount of sponsors there but you know this brush stroke chest band and then a brush stroke diagonal and then you have a uh, kind of a lot of slogans that show them as a family club blah 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 blah, blah. below. Uh, it is not a bad shirt. I actually do like this better than the home the home shirt. I know, outrage, but if I look at it, uh, even the sponsors blend in quite nicely. And that is well done, and so I'm gonna give this eight stars. Now, if you've been watching so far the, uh, the videos, you say maybe the overlap with sponsors, except for the Reachers, it was not too bad. Well, let's go to the eastern, uh, pro, uh, to the province of Styria in the very east to Hartberg, a small town. A jersey that is, as Andy put it, I sent Andy an, the Altach away jersey in case you were wondering uh, from last season. This is one of the two shirts that I sent him. Um, Hartberg. He said this is smothered by sponsors and this is how Austrian teams are at their worst. Um, I let you have a look at it and let's try to figure out where is the club logo. Yeah, 
it is somewhere to the left between the red and the white up top. It's just too much. I think the best thing there is the green heart for the Steiermark, which is Styria, and then kind of this City of Hartberg logo below. But uh, everything below there, you don't need this up top. I mean, 11 teams, but it's because, yeah, you can buy it there. Uh, but then we have three main sponsors, which kind of tells us it's a very, very small team and it is. And to me, I mean, the bottom sponsor is just killing it. And the stadium is named after the sponsor. It's the Pro Fertile Arena, which I absolutely... Uh, this is a, a running joke in Austria. Now, the design by Adidas itself is actually pretty cool with the uh, blue in blue and there's some striping and some uh, brush stroke effect there. So there is a really nice shirt somewhere there, but can you see it? No, absolutely not. And the worst thing is that you have to pay to get the shirt about 70 euros and it does not go on sale. That to me is, if you have that many sponsors, you should for every sponsor, you should knock down 10 euros, honestly. So yeah, uh, if there was one main sponsor and if you would get, could get rid of all these red ones around the crests and so on, I actually would go out and give these eight stars with all these sponsors. This goes right down in the ugly category of two stars. Let's give three because it is uh, nicely blue. So three stars for that one. However, the away jersey uh, has no such redeeming feature. Um, a, I'm a little bit not happy, let, let's put it that way. I thought that at least pink is now at least Lusk's color and they should embrace it despite it coming from a sponsor. Yes, we have bright pink. But uh, the light pink here doesn't do very much and then you have pink on pink, too much. The only thing, it fits well with the Pro Fertile in many, 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 many ways. Uh, but come on. And then it's warm with black, black pants. That's just something not quite fitting two stars for that one. They wore this jersey in the first round when they beat Rapid and Rapid was wearing for kind of the first time in the league their current home jerseys. The first ones by Puma. They had, had an, uh, 20 years with Adidas who produced some nice jerseys and some stinkers and now for the first time in the history they have Puma. And for the first time in the history they display the original club colors of a uh, red and blue on the main jersey and red and blue as you can see on the crest this is rapid is uh, is red, red and blue these were the original colors but then they changed them green and white and had this always an excellent color somewhere and given all the colors on the shirt i honestly have to say this should not work especially the main sponsor with orange seems a little bit too much and weirdly, I do not dislike this shirt. I have to say, it is it's a different look, but um, one with the green pants. There is something about it, the sash. Uh, something in this shirt works. Is it your classic rapid look? No, it is absolutely not. But I cannot say I dislike it. I even don't dislike necessarily the sponsor in orange on there. And it should not work. It definitely should not work and I think many in the fan base are not very happy with such a carnival jersey um, however you know they have also limited sponsors you have green sponsor here on the sleeve which you barely make out so I mean it's a it's over a cohesive look I have to say I don't dislike it seven stars and the away jersey kind of takes the and has always been red and blue over the past few, few years so you always had the original club colors in the away jer uh, jersey and similar goes they also have the sleeve sponsor now in red so it doesn't show uh the wien energie sponsor uh decided always on on the which is not take the orange uh on and it looks really really nice i like again the monaco-esque uh, look with a little bit of a gradient in there this is a pretty decent jersey not as nice as last season's one but this one is also pretty pretty strong and i also give it seven stars rapid vienna rapid Wien, rapid vienna does have a pretty good look for this season in any case let me know which jerseys you liked in here uh are there any jerseys in there that you would consider buying also did you know about altach and hartberg i would be very interested because rapid vienna of course everyone should know who follows a little bit or has heard about the austrian league as well in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon
Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.